at Lowe's right now getting some roses. And for Cynthia, two cards full. And veggies. So here's the Lowe's haul. What did I get? Let's see. We got roses, vegetables, soil amendments, and fertilizer. So we got asparagus. We got big boy tomatoes, yellow bell peppers, super sweet cherry tomatoes, big beef tomatoes. Let me just move that aside. Greek oregano. We got orange bell peppers and sweet basil for the sauce. I can't wait to make amazing Italian dishes this summer with the basil and the oregano and the asparagus. I'm gonna make some really great dishes. I got soil amendments here. You always need some blood meal to throw in the hole. We got vegetable and tomato food. We got miracle Grow shake and feed plant. I also got the uh, thing that attaches to the hose that feeds all the plants. And vegetables the roses now a lot of people give these roses very 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 bad reviews they complain they call them bagged roses and a lot of people think that these are garbage but they do very well here in Long Island for me so these bare root roses are gonna be going in the ground and I'm gonna tenderly care for them and they're gonna grow into big strong healthy rose bushes that I guarantee you so we got brides bouquet Aura gold. I love yellow, pink, white, and like peachy roses. I don't like red roses. I hate them. And we got Jean Borner. I got another Aura gold. Again, I like I love those yellow roses. I don't like the uh, red roses. They just I don't know. They remind me of funerals and death. And then we got. Blue Dawn, which is like a lavender rose that's almost peachy as well. Another Jean Borner. I got Chicago Peace, which is a yellow and pink rose. We got, what is this one? April Tradition, which is, which is another yellow and pink rose. And Love and Peace. So I can't wait to put these all in the ground. And uh, they're starting to bud. There's uh, some little buds growing on them. Now, they look worse for the wear, but I'm going to just really take good care of them. And uh, these are really going to look lovely when they grow. Then back here, we have all the soil amendments. I have perlite, vermiculite. I have more shaken feed and more miracle Grow plant food. Perlite, bone meal. And you need all this stuff to throw into the holes or into the pots if you're going to grow potted plants. And then again, this, you just put the... Miracle, miracle grow all-purpose plant food in here. Attach it to your hose and during the summer, um, like once a week I do it. And it makes everything just grow fantastically. Now, I prefer organic stuff, but really it's not that easy to find good organic stuff where I am. So I am going to have to stick with the miracle grow stuff, which is pretty much chemicals. And I'm not happy with it, but it does work for me. So nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to get started on all this stuff tomorrow. My God, I got a lot of work ahead of me. Here are some of the current roses I have in my garden, and I forgot as an afterthought to show you guys the Forsythias, or I mean Forsythias, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. We're going to put these right here tomorrow. Look how pretty these were. These were... $29.99, I believe, or $24.98 or something at Lowe's, and they were on clearance for $10. Look how gigantic these are in big burlap sacks. And let's see. It says it grows mature 10 to 12 feet high by 10 to 12 feet wide. Wow. These are going to get actually really big. And these are Linwood Gold Forsythia. And these were $10 as opposed to, what was the price? 
$24.98. So that was pretty darn good. Look how pretty these little flowers are. And I don't know how the hell we got this home in my small compact SUV. It's not even an SUV. It's like a mini SUV. And we got this these gigantic trees home in our car. So look at that. Look how tall they are for $10. Couldn't beat that. That was a great deal. I got some of my planting stuff all ready for tomorrow. The soil's looking good. And I can't wait to get moving on this and get this going. And then I got loads and loads, rows and rows and rows of roses already starting to bloom. And I'm going to add more roses. And my yard is going to look like an English cottage when I'm, when I'm done. I like those old English gardens. And that's what I want to do this year. So stay tuned and I'll show you tomorrow the planting of all these beautiful things. And we'll get rocking and rolling. Thanks for watching.